Hi, Jim Barrett here. Well, here's the next video that we promised you. Uh, we're in our truck, got our trailer and all hooked up with the race car in it. We're on our way to Bakersfield for the ANRA Spring Nationals. And uh, uh, we're very excited to come up. It's the second race in the season. Um, in a previous video when I talked about my racing career, one of my goals that I set for my first year of racing is to finish in the uh, uh, top 10 in the points. And uh, uh, so far I'm tied for sixth after one race and looking forward to coming up this weekend and uh, seeing how we do. Uh, our teammate Tyler Harper is going to be coming up a little bit later today. He's got a new engine in his car. It goes a lot faster. So he's pretty excited about that and we're just really looking forward to this race. And the rest of this video we're just going to kind of show you what goes on in one of our typical race weekends. So uh, hope you enjoy it and uh, we'll see you at the track. Well, what we're going to do now, we're actually here about three hours early and we're going to get in line and wait to get in. Uh, we get here early so that we can get a good pit spot and uh, get all of our team together. So we got to get everybody's uh, pit spot ready and, and uh, so we're going to go and just kind of hang out with some of our friends and uh, our crew is behind us in the Jeep to get some lunch. Uh, wait. A lot of waiting in drag racing. Alright, well we're all uh, set up and uh, now it's time to take the car down for tech inspection and uh, kind of like going through a building inspection but with our car. So, uh, here we go. Well, we passed Tech with Flying Colors, and uh, now we're on our way over to uh, Racer Registration and uh, sign some release forms, and I get my special wristband for being a driver. So we'll see you over there. Okay, well, we're back in the pits uh, uh, from uh, Tech Inspection, and uh, the crew is now uh, doing some uh, adjustments on the car. we got the engine warmed up, and uh, I'm going to introduce you to uh, Tyler Nelson, who is my crew chief. Hey, guys. Tyler is uh, 18. He started working with us on our team uh, when he was uh, about five or six years old, when Alex's son was running junior dragsters. And he's continued to work with us to the point now where he's actually uh, uh, crew chief for my car and helps me uh, uh, set it up and make sure everything's safe. And quite a responsible position and does an outstanding job. In fact, our last race here, uh, he set the tune up and told me where he wanted me to hit my shift points and we missed qualifying for the number one position by three one thousandths of a second. And uh, we were pretty excited about that. So um, anyway, we're gonna watch Tyler work. What are you doing right now, Tyler? Turning the motor over so we can get cylinder number one. That top dead center to start adjusting the valve. Okay, Tyler uh, Harper is here now, and uh, he just got back from tech inspection with his car, and uh, so we're gonna just see what he's up to right now. Well, hey Tyler, so what you doing? Filling on a junior fact sheet so I can hopefully get a free shirt. We got our friend Gabe's car on there, so I would like to have a free shirt. So are you uh, ready for qualifying tomorrow? Yes, I am. I can't wait. Alright, so we got a new motor, new new clutch from well, Chip Weimer. We get, got also a new air filter. Hopefully that will give us the 790 like all the other juniors. So far our best.
USDT would be a 798. Okay, it's uh, Saturday morning and we're here at the track uh, ready to uh, qualify. Tyler uh, Harper and I each get two qualifying passes today to see how we uh, stack up on the uh, eliminations ladder for tomorrow's uh, elimination. So uh, you can hear in the background uh, different race cars are warming up, everybody's getting ready. Uh, a lot of excitement. We're anxious to try out some of the changes that Tyler made and uh, see how we do in qualifying today. Okay. Change the timing. So we'll slow it down just a little bit. Okay. So what do you what do you need uh, me to do? You shift it at 69. Okay. You shift there. Just saying everything changed with the timing. Okay. And just the timing changed. I think it will be good. So you want me? Okay. okay. So shift at 69. Shift at 69. Okay. What's our launch RPM? Staying the same. 45. Okay. All right. You got it. Let's go for number Sounds one. Good. Woo. We're just waiting to get our first qualifying pass in. Hopefully, we can get a good light so we can be at the top of the heat. I would also like to introduce you to my crew chief, also my grandpa, Tom Harper. your first qualifying pass, how did it go? It went good. We ran our fastest time with that new motor. Um, had an all right night, but looked to do better in the next qualifying session. Okay, I'm in the lanes uh, for my first qualifying pass. My crew is going to help me get buckled in. Yep, all right, I'm ready. Go ahead and cinch me down. I get really nervous at this point. This is when I start shaking, and as soon as I start the motor, I do okay. time slip on that run and while we ran a 977 uh, we'll explain this a little more in our drag racing 101 video but I'm trying to run at 9.60 seconds that's the index not allowed to go any quicker uh, so uh, my reaction time wasn't real good I've got to pick up on that but uh, we're going to make some adjustments to the car and now I've got to step up as a driver and get a good light and uh, hopefully uh, and I know with Tyler's adjustments we're going to improve our qualifying spot so um, I'm putting all the numbers down, getting them all looked at. I'm going to compare them to 
with the older runs. Eight, changes six, six, made. six or better. And, uh, you can bust out Wes Anderson, Anderson uh, off that top spot. Adjust the timing. So there, a little, give it a little more horsepower so it can pick it up a little bit. Or we can uh, uh, adjust the shift point a little bit to give it a little more a little more RPM. So a few more options. I'll look at the numbers and I'll let you know. Well, I'm all suited up and the lane's uh, ready for my second qualifying pass. Tyler made some changes to the uh, tune-up on the engine, so hopefully we run a little quicker today and uh, uh, improve our qualifying time. back from our second qualifying pass, not what we wanted, and we slowed down. Should have been a little bit better than that. Uh, Tyler is uh, going through and just double checking, making sure nothing's wrong. One of the frustrating things about drag racing is uh, uh, just one little thing can go wrong and it can just mess everything up. So hopefully we find our problem and get it solved. Well, we're trying to sort out the problem that we have, and uh, we've narrowed it down to maybe something in the valve train, so a little disappointed. I don't think we're going to get to a race tomorrow, but we'll find out here a little bit later. Um, we have that tight spot when we turned over the engine. And uh, so we narrowed it down to the number eight exhaust valve. And um, we'll have to take a look at that, take it back to the shop, take a look at it, see what's going on. And uh, nothing too serious. Hopefully we'll be able to fix it and get back out.
a really close race. Just lost by 33 ten thousandths of a second in the semis. But we had a good race, good race weekend. Now we just got to go cheer on our other team driver, Gabe, as he goes into the finals. And I can't wait to see you all at the CAA day at the races. I don't know what's worse about breaking a race car, not getting to play, or having to push it back into the trailer. Well, we're all loaded up and headed back on the freeway back for home. Uh, we had a pretty exciting weekend, uh, even though we didn't get to run my car. Uh, we're very fortunate. It could have been very uh, catastrophic. Uh, caught it in time, so that's uh, paying attention to details. It's very important uh, car talks to get let you know. And uh, after that last pass, when it ran a little slow, we knew that uh, there was something wrong and it's time to take a look at it. So anyway, hope you enjoyed our weekend with us. Uh, we enjoyed sharing, sharing it with you and we're really looking forward to uh, doing this again at the CAA Day at the Races and um, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. We'll see you. Bye.